The episode opens with Ben suffering from a cold and Kevin transporting him to Mr. Smoothie. Kevin buys a smoothie for Ben to help him digest his cold medicine. Ben sips it, and the smoothie tastes awful. Then a ship appears next to the automobile, and the team exits. Tetrax, Ben's old buddy and comrade from when he was 10 years old, exits the ship. Tetrax grabs him and demands that he hand up Chromastone. Tetrax slams Ben to the ground and asks him what he intends to do with Chromastone. Tetrax then attempts to change Ben into Chromastone, but Ben instead transforms into Diamond Head, infuriating Tetrax. Tetrax, on the other hand, detects Chromastone's essence inside Diamond Head, but before he can explain, Kevin and Gwen approach Tetrax for an assault, which they quickly beat. Tetrax is forced to use a sonic instrument to shatter Diamond Head, revealing a Crystalsapine within. Tetrax hands over the Crystalsapine, telling him that he is not Ben. Tetrax provides a backup crystal that changes the hues of the Crystal Sapien's crystals from magenta to red. Gwen ties Tetrax up with Mena as he sails out into space, demanding an answer. Kevin resembles all of Diamond Head's components and changes him back into Ben. Ben orders Gwen to release Tetrax. Tetrax then apologizes and tells that he found a means to revive his home planet, Petropia, by handing Chromastone the crystal that Vilgax used to destroy it when the planet's suns align. Chromastone would then align with the stone, and the crystal would restore Petropia and its inhabitants. Tetrax stole the crystal from Vilgax and delivered it to the Crystal Sepian, who was designed to be Petropia's protector. When Vilgax comes, he wants the crystal. The four flee Vilgax, and Ben tries to morph into Way Big, but instead turns into Humungusaur and attacks Vilgax. As the crew departs, Humungusar turns into Jitre. The Crystal Sapien lands to Petropia's ruins while in space and aligns with the suns. The planet's puzzle parts begin to fit together. Jitre looks back as he and Vilgax struggle, and Ben starts to collapse. Fortunately, Gwen catches Ben with a mana slide, and Kevin, inspired, dashes off and into his vehicle. Vilgax assaults the rest of the crew and demands Tetrax's crystal. Kevin drives them away and sets up a smoke screen. Vilgax shoots it and runs up to the vehicle, but the team has vanished. They flee via the sewers, but Ben sneezes, and Vilgax hears it thanks to his extraordinary hearing. When Vilgax comes, he wants the crystal. Ben morphs into Echo Echo and replicates himself. The Echo Echoes let out a sonic sneeze, knocking Vilgax away and transforming back into Ben. Vilgax assaults the crew and seizes Tetrax. Tetrax claims that Vilgax will never discover the crystal, but when Kevin mentions the crystal Sapien, Vilgax flees. After Vilgax, the crew boards Tetrax's ship and sails to Petropia. When Vilgax comes and battles the crystal Sapien, he has restored the world and is going to revive the people. The crystal Sapien pleads for compassion, but Vilgax takes the crystal off of him and learns that it has been depleted of its power. Vilgax then flies away, leaving him to die. When the crew arrives, the crystal Sapien is almost dead, but in a last-ditch attempt, he produces another crystal and offers it to Ben before dying. Ben has no clue what to do with the crystal, yet changes into Diamond Head because he believes he will. Diamond Head climbs the world's highest peak to hold the crystal up to the heavens. The Petrosapiens are restored, and Diamond Head rejoins the squad and reverts to Ben. The Crystal Sapien is likewise resurrected, revealing his name is Shujalite, and that Chromastone remains in his Omnitrix. Ben hands him the gem, which he reattaches. The Petrosapiens applaud Ben. Tetrax returns the trio to Earth. Ben expresses gratitude to Tetrax for the trip home. Tetrax responds, It was the least I could do. Gwen says she, Ben, and Kevin don't want to keep him back, since he must be eager to see his buddies. Tetrax responds that he is but first he must settle a score with Vilgax. Ben wonders whether Tetrax's plan is actually such a good one, given Vilgax's invulnerability. Tetrax just answers, maybe, maybe not. Vilgax, on the other hand, has regrettably gotten Ben's cold, and the episode concludes with Siphon offering Vilgax a tissue to heal his cold.